So what I want to cover in this video are some of the things that you should consider when you're thinking about going to boot camp and whether or not if it's worth it to you to make that investment and go that route or if maybe being self-taught might be better for you and maybe that's the way you want to go because it's a little more flexible and has you know more of the things that are in line to the way that you want to learn before we get started i want to give a quick shout out to ayush who mentioned wanting to see me make a video on this topic if you've got any topics that you want to see me make a video on make sure to mention it in the comments below and if it's something that i feel that i can make a good video on i'll do my best to make one all right let's get going so let's start off with, you know, the most important thing, right? Money, 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 money. What are your circumstances? What's your situation? Do you have the savings? Do you want to get in debt? When I was learning how to code, one of the big reasons why I went self-taught was because my wife and I were trying to pay off debt and we weren't trying to really acquire any more debt. And I wanted to stay away from going to community college or a boot camp because that was gonna cost me a lot of money. Boot camps are, are pretty expensive. They offer a lot. There's a lot of hands-on training. You, you get to work with other people and you have a group of individuals that are gonna be willing to help you at your disposal, at least for the time that you're there. But do you want to make that much of an investment? You know, in the grand scheme of things, boot camps seem like they're not that expensive if they really can get you job ready and get you a job right away. Just watch out for any boot camps or programs that might seem a little too good to be true. Be careful for companies like Rabbit Tour. They're pretty scammy. They seem very fishy. Red flags just go up everywhere. They contract you out to teach you as a junior developer. They pay you crap and you sign up for like two years and you get stuck with them. So make sure you read the fine print before you sign on that dotted line. Another thing to think about when it comes to, you know, signing up for a boot camp and whether or not it's worth it, you're going to have to be able to dedicate a set amount of time to a boot camp. And that's just one of the things to consider. So when you're determining whether or not a boot camp is right for you and if it's worth it or not to go to a boot camp, really think about like, hey, do I have the time to commit to this? And if I sign up for this, am I gonna stick with it and show up every single day? Or am I gonna lose the money that I put up? That's some responsibility right there. The same could be said with community college. You decide to go to community college and not a boot camp. The, the same thing happens. You know, you still have to pay the money. And if you don't show up, you lose your tuition and you're out of luck. So just just keep that in mind. So another thing is what kind of learning personality do you have? Are you able to learn on your own? Are you able to self-motivate and stay dedicated to make sure that you're learning the code every day and you're reading books and you're reading blogs and you're watching videos and you're building projects day in and day out until you're able to get a job? You know, that's a lot of dedication. It's really hard to be a self-taught programmer, but you can do it. It's just a matter of doing it every day until you get a job. And that's really it. There's no crazy mystery behind it. Really, if you just do this every day, you, you can become a self-taught programmer. And honestly, you can do that with anything in life. Dedicate the time and show up every day. But going self-taught, it's really hard. As to if you signed up for a boot camp and you have more of a personality that needs structure and guidance and rather have like a classroom environment with people that you can ask questions and, and peers that you can work with and kind of bounce ideas off of, a boot camp offers that. And many boot camps, you know, have you build a few projects while you're there and you'll actually get to work on some bigger projects, which you don't really get that when you're self-taught unless you start contributing to open source projects or you're able to find little jobs here and there that expose you to a bigger code base or a big project, you might not have that when you're learning how to code on your own and going to boot camp will offer that. To answer the question of do I think a coding boot camp is worth it. When I was learning, I felt like going to a boot camp, even after I had spent like four or five months learning on my own, I felt that I didn't know enough and I was never going to get a job and it was just not going to happen. And I thought about going to a boot camp and just quitting my job and doing it and just saying, hey, if I do the boot camp and I've learned for the last, you know, four or five months, I should be able to do it. And I'm glad that I didn't because I didn't have to. And luckily at that time, that's when I started networking and other people started seeing my code and saw my skills and started you know, encouraging me and giving me some pointers and telling me basically that I was in better shape than I thought I was. And you might need that. And again, that's something that a coding bootcamp can help you with, but you can find it on your own self-taught as well. So whether or not a coding bootcamp is worth it or not, I don't necessarily think so, but if you think it's the right decision for you, only you can really figure out if it's worth it or not and if it's what you wanna do to learn how to code and get a job or build an app or start a startup or whatever you wanna do 
after you learn how to code. And if you found this video helpful in any way, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.